your healthcare provider just brushed you off and were a, a bit dismissive. I know I have. And sometimes, I mean, in some cases, they actually really were, and that bothered me. But in other cases, they really aren't being dismissive. They just hear and see these things every day. And your case to them looks so mild that they're like, really, it's no big deal. My name is Dr. Jocelyn Conley. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist. In this video, I'm just going to share with you briefly why it might seem like you're provider is being dismissive, but actually isn't. So people come in to see me and because I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist, things that I see are people with urinary leakage, leakage of stool, uh, pain with sex or issues around sex, back pain, I mean anything. And they also come in after their provider tells them that they have pelvic organ prolapse. Now let's just stop for a minute there. Pelvic organ prolapse is an aggressive word. I get it, it's a definition, but people get freaked out and that word just like <laughs> heightens them. And, I, and then they Google it and then that makes it worse. So they come in and I do my exam and like, and I cannot diagnose pelvic organ prolapse, but I can say vaginal wall descent, front vaginal wall suggests it's the bladder and or urethra. It's within this distance of a, an area of your vaginal opening called the hymenal plane. And I'm like, this is not bad at all. What are you freaking out about? That's in my head. I used to say, like, come off like, this is no big deal. And sometimes that helped, like, bring them down and be like, okay. And other times they were not happy. They were like, she just came off dismissive. And so the thing is, guys, we do see this all the time and we know that symptoms and objective findings with respect to what you're coming in for should match. A lot of people never even knew they had a prolapse. They didn't have the symptoms that suggest prolapse. And so just hearing that they have that diagnosis from their provider sets them off and then they're scared and then they think they need surgery. They think they need this and that and, the, and then the, the world is, the world is ending. And the truth is, is that it's not, I am better now and I educate. I'm like, look, we, I make sure that I go through a more thorough history and just social history of where they were with their body before they were told that they had prolapse, where they were from a symptom standpoint. Because a lot of people, they didn't have symptoms and they're like, oh, you have prolapse. And suddenly like, oh, I do have symptoms. Sometimes they actually do and sometimes they don't. They're just so fixed on that diagnosis. So in reality, like when I tell you, this is not bad. It's this, I, I, I checked you at standing, I checked you on your back and I had you do all these different things and it looked okay. Now here's the thing, sometimes people guard, some people are scared, so their results or their performance on the test isn't accurate, so I have to be careful with that. But the key here is know that we're not, it's not that we don't care, it's we're just trying not to feed into your fear. And also, typically it isn't as bad as you think it is. You don't need surgery most of the time. And even if you did, there are so many things that you can do now and for many years that you should do before considering surgery so that you don't have to have repeat surgeries. So your provider most of the time isn't dismissive. Now, if they're saying just drink wine or just do kegels during sex, or just do cake, that's, un that's unacceptable. But when they're like, it isn't bad, it's stop freaking, they may, I'm not gonna say they're gonna say stop freaking out, but don't freak out. They really do mean what they're saying most often the time, I know I do. I'm just trying not to feed into your fear. And so I do surround that recommendation with a lot of education, I answer your questions. If you like this video, if it was helpful, press the like button. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please comment below. And if you know anyone that would benefit from watching this video, please share. I'll see you guys next time.